guys, it's Secret, and today I have a small haul from Jamie's Handbags and Accessories. This is a place that sells really inexpensive designer handbags and accessories. Um, so before I start, I want to tell you guys a funny story. It was funny for everyone else, but not for me. I was recently a victim of having the purse break in public, and it is not a funny thing. Because I bought this really, really inex... Well, no, it's not inexpensive. It was cheap. Cheap is different from inexpensive because cheap is cheaply made. It made it's made with cheap um, materials and it will break. So I got this cheap purse. And I kind of filled it up with a lot of things. And it broke in the mall. The strap broke and it just fell to the floor. And I was so embarrassed. So from that day on, I kind of swore to myself that I was never going to buy another cheap purse. Inexpensive not cheap. Inexpensive is different because they're made with better material, I guess. And they will kind of last for years, not break in the middle of the mall while you're shopping. So anyways, now I'm going to start showing you guys some items that I got from Jamie's Handbags and Accessories. I like this store because they sell really good handbags that will kind of last and they will not break on you. Um, they kind of feel really sturdy. I feel like I can fill them up with the world. And that's kind of one of my bad habits because I like to fill a purse up with everything. I'm a school person, so I kind of want to have everything with me when I go to school. So, um, my first item is the um, Fashion Glitter Zebra Flat Wallet. This is $24.50. One of the features that I really like is that you have the option of putting your coins on the back instead of inside. And usually on the other flat wallets that I own, you put them on the inside and that kind of makes it hard to close because I keep a lot of change. Um, so yeah, this is the size of maybe a small dictionary. I also like the glitter, little glitter and sparkle and I like the zebra pattern and I like the fact that it's pink. Love it. So inside, it has a lot of places to put credit cards and basically any type of ID. I have about five IDs for my school because I just would not let them stop taking pictures until I got the one that I wanted. So, <laughs> they kind of don't like me. I'm just kidding. Um, they also have a place right here to put your wallet, um, your dollars, your bills. I think that they will lay down um, kind of straight because in some wallets you have to fold them in half to make them fit so I really haven't haven't checked but I think that might work um so yeah uh this one right here the um the checkbook it kind it actually comes out it's removable so if you have a checkbook you can kind of leave it in if you don't you can take it out um but I really do like it I like the fact because I am a checkbook person and I think the reason why they don't include these in other wallets is because a lot of younger people are more the, um, the potential buyer for flat wallets. And they don't really use um, checkbooks, but I am one of the people who actually does. So there's still a little bit of us. Of us. Um, so yeah, once again, that's $24.50. I think it's a really good idea. Really good deal. Love it. It's kind of thick, but I love it. Okay, so next up is the... Brighton Inspired Fashion Heart Handbag. This is how it looks. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys what stand out the most for this bag. I really like the little heart detail. I love hearts for some reason, and I think it just really stood, stood out. And I love these studs right here on the edges of the purse. Really cute. The strap is also different. So you kind of see it's kind of thick right here and then it kind of gets smaller. Love the strap. It's very different. I've kind of never seen anyone else wear this, but it's still cute. So it's kind of like you'll be the only person wearing this and you'll be the trendsetter. Okay, so also on the edge right here, you see these little hooks. So I'm thinking maybe if you don't like these straps, you can add a, maybe a longer strap. Okay, so let's see. It has a zipper, zipper enclosure. So you can having a zipper on a purse is kind of a luxury because if you don't have one on there and you drop your purse, everything falls out, personal items included. So, yeah. So it has some pockets on the back side. Can you see that? It has a big pocket right here and a smaller pocket right here. So in this pocket, it's probably like your Blackberry could fit in there if you guys have one. And then this one, I would say some pens and pencils. Um, it has a zipper right here on the other side. 
a zipper pocket. And actually, this one is kind of weirder. Weird in a good way, I think. Um, it had this part, the bottom pulls up and it has a zipper on it. So I guess you can unzip it and put like things you want to hide in here. Yeah, and then kind of tuck it down and just put stuff on top. So yeah, I think that's really good. So I think that's a good little detail. You can hide stuff in your purse. You don't want no one seeing your personal items. Very good. Um, also on the back it has another pocket. So there's a lot of pockets on this bag. Really, I think it's really cute. Um, this um, is actually $49 on the site. I think this is a really good deal because, um, yeah, it's very sturdy. And I can tell right now that it's probably not going to break. This isn't going to break. The purse that broke was kind of pleather-like and it was just really cheap. I, uh, what was I thinking? I know. Um, the next bag I have is inspired by Dior. Also, I forgot to mention that this store um, actually have bags that is inspired by designer bags and bags that you see worn on famous celebrities. Um, so, yeah. So this one right here is the Dior inspired floral handbag. Um, I love floral because floral is really in this season and I just, I don't know what it is, I just really love it. The thing that got me the most is the pattern, the floral pattern, but I like the shape of the purse and also this cute little buckle detail. It has a giant buckle, it's like a belt, and then it has little studs all the way around it. So I think it's very edgy, but it's still really cute. Um, my inspiring outfit for this would be an all over black outfit and then just kind of put this on for a little pop of color but it will still go with it because it has the black details on it love it it has some pockets on the outside so this could go for your cell phone on one end and some pencils on the other or pens whichever one i'm a college student so i'm really always trying to find places to put pens and pencils because i just love them <laughs> okay so it has a zipper once again um, has a zipper pocket on the inside and on the other side it also has two pockets about the same size as the other one a really big one and then a little tiny one this bag seems like it's one of those bags that looks small on the outside but will kind of fit the world in it I love stuffing purses into yeah I love stuffing purses um, love them so it, it has a lot of room in it i just really do like this one now if i would say that um my favorite item out of this whole video would be this bag because it's just so cute and i think it would just go with anything but also the brighton bag is really cute too and i think black will go with anything as well um i have one more item to show you guys it is the accessory part of jamie's handbags and accessory i have the fashion ring um, one thing before I show you guys this, I would say one thing a lady should always know is her ring size. You will always need it in life, whether it's your, um, whether you're getting a class ring or a friendship ring or just a fashion ring or a wedding ring, you have to know your ring size. And that's one thing that I did not know, so I kind of got a really small ring. I got it in a size 6 and it only fits my pinky. But it's a really cute ring. Love it. Can you guys see it? It has really cute little um, jewels on it, different colors. And it has a little square inside. I will put some pictures on this. Um, put some pictures in the video as well. This ring is actually $29 on the site. So I would just definitely recommend if you're planning on getting a ring from here, know your ring size. It's something that you will need to know later on in life regardless of who you are. So, um, yeah, so that was my haul and review from Jamie's Handbags and Accessories. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.